Here we are on May 15, 2013. Six days ago, I was mugged here at 1236 Atlantic Avenue. And I sustained injuries. I will be going to the hospital today. And I keep getting these headaches. My back hurt around my collarbone right here. It's hurting. And I wanted to remind everyone that the threat, the direct threat of a black nigger attack by Derek was born out of, he came to repair something, at least give me a new chair for a chair that was broken. I came here, the garbage is always full like this. I put the broken chair right here. And when I got back inside, he wanted to tell me that I should have put the chair up here on top of the dumpster when that would have been inappropriate. And then when I told him after I left the army, I went to college, I didn't go to garbage picking school. And that's when he told me in front of the captain that's there now and Officer Duncan of FJC Security with their headquarters in, in Long Island, he said to me, what I needed, he said, you need a black, you need a good black digger attack. And he did it. And it was on the 19th of April that he said that. And within a month, he executed it after he got in my face and attacked me at that store right down the street on the corner of Nostrand on Atlantic on the northern side. That's what happened. And that was born out of JFC officer Siobhan Miller, who was working in collusion with him, coming to my apartment. And, you know, they were doing some intimidating things. She started out just with me. Oh, I love you, little man. I love you, little man. I love you, little man. People from Samaritan Village saw it. Uh, Benny, the superintendent, saw a kissing on me in the hallway. And so there was a romantic relationship that was never consummated into a sexual relationship. But this finger got in there. This finger got in there. Oh, oh. Yeah, you, you, you almost hit her. What kind of nonsense is this? He just kept moving. He kept he, moving from his own fucking cell phone. Yeah, he ain't supposed to be on the cell phone. Oh, Jesus Christ. You see what's happening in Brooklyn, people? That's why I need to get out of here. It's not safe around here. You know, big truck driver. Big truck driver for forward air complete. Almost killed a cute white girl with good credit. So, all I know is, this is not a place for me to stay. It's time for me to get out of here so nothing happens to me any worse. But, Officer Siobhan Miller and Derek have been working in collusion to fleece me. I'm out of close to a grand, and I never got no sex. It never went outside my room. So, somebody's in trouble. Somebody is in deep, deep, deep trouble. Let's make sure they stop. Now I can cross. You guys have a nice freaking day. But all I know is, I ain't gonna be trying to get none of that. Fat back. That's out, you know, with the weave and the wig and the fat black ass. And all they want is money. All they want is money because they're at the bottom layer of the socioeconomic pyramid. Oh, well, you know, my parents are as rich as yours. Really? Are you related to three presidents of your country and an ambassador? No. No. So. Bye. It's like that cute white girl with good credit. From now and forever. Bye-bye. You Negroes can't be that bad. You want me to get a freaking weed and some fat. Just the money I would save not having to buy that white girl any wigs or weaves and turn their claws into, into hands and hooves into feet.
I can buy a house. Bye-bye.